In this tutorial, I'll show you how to find the scalar and vector projection of vectors in 3D. Question 1 reads, find the scalar projection and vector projection of B onto A and the components of each vector shown right here. As you can see underneath, the scalar projection formula is shown right here and the vector projection formula is shown here. The main difference between the two is that when you use this formula, you'll end up with a number, whereas when you use this formula, you'll end up with a vector. And while they look the same, this formula is telling us that once we find the scalar projection, we multiply it by the unit vector of, in our case, A. In case that's too much to process, let's do this step by step. We'll begin with the scalar projection, and as you can see from this formula, that you will take the dot product of A and B. To find the dot product of any two vectors, you multiply each of the corresponding components. So you multiply the x components together, then the y components, and the z components, and you add them all up. So let's go ahead and do that. We have 1 times negative 2, that's negative 2. 1 times 3, that's positive 3. And 2 times 1, that's equal to 2. This gives us a sum of positive 3. So we just found the dot product of A and B. Now we need to find the magnitude of A. To find the magnitude of A, we'll take each of these components, square them, add them, and then take the square root. So the magnitude of A is equal to the square root of negative 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 3 raised to the power of 2 plus 1 raised to the power of 2. This gives us 4 plus 9, that's 13, plus 1 is 14, the square root of 14. Therefore, the scalar projection of B onto A is equal to 3 over the square root of 14. Now, as I mentioned before, to find the vector projection, that's actually a vector, you need to multiply this to the unit vector of A. So how do we find the unit vector? You take this number and you divide it by each of these components. And we represent the unit vector of A using the symbol A hat. So we have A hat, or the unit vector, is negative 2 over the square root of 14, 3 over the square root of 14, and 1 over the square root of 14. And we'll take this unit vector and multiply it to the scalar projection. I'll show my work over here. So I'll have this number being multiplied to that, this number multiplied to that, and then to that. And that will give us a vector, which we'll call the projection of B onto A is equal to 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6, over the square root of 14 times the square root of 14, that's positive 14. So negative 6 over 14, 3 times 3 is 9, over 14, and 3 times 1, that's 3, over 14. Now, of course, you can reduce these where they can be reduced. For example, negative 6 over 14 can be reduced down to negative 3 over 7. I'll do that right now. And that right there represents our final answer. Now, one use of finding the scalar and vector projections occurs in physics when we calculate work. So, if you'd like to see this concept applied to a physics example, namely the one in question number two, make sure you watch part two of this series where we cover this exact example. We'll see you soon.